Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. Today I did something a little different. I don't know. I think I did a little bit of purple in my eyes. No, I'm talking about my hair. Again, yes, I just changed the color again. It is purple. And of course, I use my favorite product. Well, I color charm paints and I use two bottles of the purple, two tubes of the purple, and about one and a half of the pink. Mix it all together, left it on my hair for about 20 minutes, and this is the result. It is a purple kind of day. So, um, that is it. That is it. That is it. Let me leave you guys with a video. And enjoy. Well, um, I departed my hair in four sections, all the tangle. Now let me show you. Before I, I put any color on my hair, I like to like take little sections, try it out the mixture and see if I like the color, how it comes out. Well, I did two mixtures and this is how they look one is very purple it has like a dark to it this one is a little bit more light you can see side by side this i love this color and if you go in the light it looks like kind of bluish purple but i promise you it is just plain purple and so i'm doing this color today instead of this one. This one is a mixture of purple, light pink, and coral. So it came out like that, just a little bit more lighter, more purplish per se. While this one is just a mixture of purple and pink. And you know, purple is, this purple is a very, very dark color. Very, I don't wanna put it in my hair just like that because it's extremely dark even though that I know purple fades out very beautiful but I didn't want to take the risk because I never used purple that this brand of this uh, World of Color Charm paints purple in my hair itself you know how I mix it with all the colors whatever whatever not but I'm always a little bit skeptical about using the colors by itself if you have seen my previous videos I normally mix it with clear but today we're not gonna mix it with clear we're gonna mix it with pink and <clears throat> i'm going to use two boxes of purple one uh one light pink and see what that takes us because i need to cover as you can see i have a lot of gray hair a lot of gray hair so before i do my roots i still got the periwinkle it's not total fade out but because my roots are growing so fast I want to do another color before I have to retouch my roots because once I retouch my roots I probably leave my hair blonde for a little longer before I decide to do another color and you know doing roots is a whole other process take it to a whole other level so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take advantage of the color that I have I'm gonna take advantage of the blonde or whatever color my hair is right now and deposit another color in it that way my roots I can play with my roots a little longer before doing the whole blood again so with that being said let's get to work
is already done. I'm gonna I'm going to do the other half of camera just because it's the same process. And I'll be right back when everything is covered. Okay, so I'm all done. My hair is completely covered with color. It's very dark, but I think it's gonna come out looking pretty good. Oh, you can see my ears. I hope it does come out. Like I always tell you, this is what I use the same shirt when I'm coloring my hair, just because it is going to be messy. Is this purple going to come out once I wash it? I don't know, but to be honest, I don't care. I did use all of the product, all of it, every single bit of it, and um, nothing. I'm gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna rinse everything out. I am going to wash my hair just because today was supposed to be my wash day. So I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to deep condition my hair. But before I do all that, before I start, before I deep condition my hair, I will show you how it looks once it's all washed, once it's all rinsed out, rinsed out. And let's see how much color comes out of my hair once I start washing it. And nothing. I'll be back later to show you how it looks. When it's all washed out. I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, I just got off the shower. This is how my hair looks like so far. I love the dark purple. It did cover some of my gray hair, which I love. But you can see this very purple. I think it covered all my hair. Just like the blue did before. I think the purple covered all the blood. Better than the blue. But now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to deep condition my hair and you know do all that good stuff. And then once I dry it on my hair, or I don't know if I'm gonna let, let it air dry or if I'm gonna um, use a diffuser. Either way, I'll come back when my hair is completely dry and I'll show you guys how it looks once it's dry. And then I will take a picture outside so you guys can see how it looks. I think I think this is gonna be very intense purple once we go outside which I always love a good color is how it looks so yeah I'll be back when it's all dry and I'm done with all the good good stuff see you guys in a little bit so I'm back and this is it my hair is almost completely dry this is the result my hair is a whole lot poofy. It is a very dark purple. It kind of looks some sort of blue. I really, really, really like how the color turned out to be, and I cannot wait to go outside and take some pictures. And yes, it's gonna be purple, purple, and purple. I will <laughs> do my makeup, and it's gonna be a purple kind of day. Well, this is it. Um, and don't forget, if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that um, like button. If you are new to my channel, you want to keep continue. If you want to continue um, watching my videos and know when I upload the videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button. And mm, I think this is it. We'll leave it with this purple hair and it will be on to the next one.